Hello again. I have more business for you in this second segment. Now, leading alcoholic beverage manufacturer in the country, Accra Brewery Limited, has launched its new product as part of its commitment to protecting the environment through recycling. The new handy aluminum can, club beer, according to the company, can be recycled easily as compared with its bottled drinks. Bismarck Hausa was at the launch of the new alcoholic beverage in our report. As the country tries to tackle excessive waste, some companies are complementing this effort by introducing recyclable packaging solutions as alternative. Ghana's leading alcoholic beverage manufacturer, Accra Brewery Limited, is one of such companies which has now introduced its famous club beer in handy can. Irefua Adoichia is head of marketing at Accra Brewery Limited. These aluminum cans are a testament to ABL's commitment to invest in a cleaner world where natural resources are shared and preserved for the future since aluminum cans are considered to be the most recyclable beverage packaging resulting in increased value and recycling rates. So I entreat you all to enjoy ice cold crisp and refreshing club beer now in 500 ml cans and say Charlie welcome freedom. The company says the entry of a new handy can does not seek to face out its famous green bottle, but to make room for takeaways. Addressing the media, Mrs. Adoichia says the outfit is doing more to meet customers' expectations. For us, it's become necessary because we're always looking for ways in which we can drive innovation to offer exciting experiences to our consumers. And we said that we have returnable bottles, we have drafts, and so um, the next progression for us was cans. Cans because it offers ex um, convenience for consumers who don't want to be bogged down with bottles or who don't have the ability to enjoy uh, Club Bubra. And so we said that we're introducing 500 ml cans to be able to add to our portfolio um, of club and so this is why we've decided to introduce 500 ml cans in Sagana. Meanwhile, the company has set aside some incentives to reward its employees and loyal customers who assist in promoting the product. Some club beer lovers at the launch were treated to a taste of a same old taste of club beer, this time in a handy can. Bismarck Aousas reports for Joy Business. Let's turn attention now to the aviation sector. The national carrier of the Republic of Namibia, Air Namibia, has for the second time in five years suspended its operations on the Ventuk Lagos Accra route following a diplomatic controversy between Namibia and Nigeria. The airline first suspended its operations to Accra in 2014. Speaking to Joy of Business, the Namibian High Commissioner to Ghana, Charles Joseph, explained the ongoing impasse has significantly affected passenger numbers. In 2014, Air Namibia exited the Accra route because it did not have an office to issue visas, which led to a decline in passenger volumes. However, in February 2018, the airline made a return, having set up a consulate in Accra. But barely a year and a few months since its return, the airline has again announced another suspension of its operations. This time due to a diplomatic feud between Namibia and Nigeria. Charles Joseph is the Namibian High Commissioner to Ghana. The, the load factor was not up to scratch uh, as from March uh, and but primarily there is there's a third party intervention in the form of, of a High Commissioner that has decided that she would not be issuing visas to Namibians going to Nigeria um, and that has caused the airline to really be running at a loss. We've been operating at more than 50% for, for quite a while. Uh, and projections were that it was going to go up over time. But then that intervention, specific intervention happened. And uh, that, that, that was the major cause of, of, of the breakdown in, in, in the operations. The commissioner, however, noted they will be considering alternative solutions to have the airline back. He indicated one of the options included getting first freedom rights for the Vindek Accra London route. Well, we've also applied for a first freedom license to fly from Vindek to, Lego, uh, to Accra, Accra London. Um, that is part of our, our commitment to remain in, in, in Ghana. Um, of course, that particular application is on the table of the minister, and the minister will provide us feedback. But that, that is a sign of our commitment to, to, to Ghana and would want to come back to Ghana. 
So that, that would be the, the, the next engagement that we may have. Responding to the issue, Minister for Aviation Kofiada stated his office may grant Air Namibia the faith freedom rights after careful consideration. The general policy is that uh, uh, the freedom of skies is what we are operating under. And based on the policy of government uh, to make uh, Accra the uh, visual hub, uh, we allow them all to fly from here. Uh, if people want to wait here and go with Air Namibia and go elsewhere, there's some benefits to Ghana, and it also enhances competition. So in principle, we're not against that at all. We, we want to consider doing that then, but there are always uh, some technicalities that uh, uh, experts have to go through and advise us on that. So I think it's very likely that we we'll give to them, but the process must be completed. For Joy Business, Shilata McClure reporting. Now, government has been advised to equip and invest more in the health sector to make it more attractive to investors. According to plastic surgeon and founder of Restore Worldwide Incorporated, Dr. Michael Obing, prioritizing and providing adequate infrastructure for healthcare in Ghana will go a long way in boosting investor confidence to develop the economy. He was speaking to Ishira Ado in a new episode of the Executive Lounge, which airs this weekend. Let's have exit. So coming back to Ghana specifically, and I can talk about different countries that I've had access to, mm -hmm. the problem is education, okay? We don't put emphasis on healthcare, okay? Our priorities are displaced. Our priorities are just all over the place, not on the important things that builds nations like healthcare, education, okay? I've always had a firm belief that, you know, a healthy nation is a wealthy nation. Mm. When people are healthy, they can contribute, they can work hard, and all that contributes to the GDP. You know, but without education, it's not like we're poor. Okay, we have money for everything. We have money to go play soccer. Okay, it doesn't cost much. I just left VRE, VRE Hospital yesterday, and they don't have a mammography machine there. It's not the first place. Uh, we did admissions in 2011 in, uh, in Tamale. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tamale, the whole regional hospital that draws from about at least about a million people that feeds into the hospital did not have a single dialysis machine. I can go on and on and on, wow. and it's sad that a country mm -hmm. like Ghana, as advanced as we are, okay, we don't have put emphasis on healthcare. And it's because of the case, not because we don't have the money. We have the money. A dialysis machine is not expensive. The whole town of Tamale back in 2011 did not have a mammography machine. Okay? Yesterday I was in Akwemu. I went to VRA. That area, they have a breast care center. They don't have a mammography machine. How do you have a breast care center without a mammogram? Exactly. You know, just, I mean, and it's not that I'm not singling them out. <clears throat> and how much is a mammography machine? $20,000? Do you tell me? So this goes to tell you where our emphasis are. Okay, and I think until we as a nation start talking about healthcare, and you know, and people don't realize that now that the world has become such a small global village, okay, investors' confidence are not there. I would not do a business where I, I can't live in a place where when I'm sick, I don't feel like I'm going to get good healthcare. So you know, this goes to tell you. So healthcare in Ghana is far behind. And that's all by way of business tonight on Joy News Prime. Many thanks for your company. My name is Imano Abuaji. For more business news, log on to myjoyonline.com slash business.